Hello? Hello. Communications with the Wii Remote have been interrupted. Hey, it's Morrow Galaxy. Check. Testing. 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 Uh, game's probably too loud. Checking. Checking. Test. Hello. Potato. Maybe a little bit less. I might have turned the wrong thing down. <laughs> Whoops. Check. Checking. Test. She sells seashells by the seashore. Seashore. Testing. Testing. Check. Okay, maybe one more decibel. Check. Check. Hello? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> anyway, last time I played this game, I 100%ed it as Mario. But you gotta do it all again as Luigi if you wanna see everything. Watch my head spin. We. So let's get right in and play as Luigi. No! Mario. You thought I forgot, but I didn't. I didn't forgot. Alright, checking. I don't know, it might still be too loud. Yeah, so I missed one of these. Let us begin. The wish. Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. One- yeah, Luma drew close and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me. And don't be sad about your mama, because she's a part of you. That means she's always close by. It's like me, I love star bits because they remind me of my mama. No, no, the girl said, unable to stop the tears. A lonely look flickered across Luma's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. I have an idea. I will transform into a comet, a soaring comet that can carry you all on this journey. 
With that, Luma, trailing bands of white, soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom! Kablam! The ground shook and a bright light poured out of the crater that the Luma had created. The bands of light twisted together to form a comet tail. And then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. The girl could scarcely believe her eyes. But how? He kept asking. Our destiny as Lumas is to transform into different things, said a red Luma who had suddenly appeared. Stars, comets, planets, we can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special smile, said a green Luma. A blue Luma chimed in. That Luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? All of the Lumas together said, No more crying, Mama. Thank you, said the girl in a whisper, and she pulled the Lumas close and hugged them. From that day on, star bits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth for the girl's home planet, its long tail blazing proudly behind it. Final Chapter Family With its many Lumas and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the Lumas were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new Luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a louder voice than usual, All right, everyone, let's make a cake. A cake sprinkled with star bits. Then, it'll will, then it will be a star cake. The Lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. As she watched the Luma scurry about, the girl smiled and thought to herself, This is my family now, and I will stay with them until they're ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. That night, when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of the blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to return home once every 100 years to nap in my favorite sleeping nook. The comet carrying the Lumas and the girl continues on its journey to this very day. With more family members in tow than can be counted, it's said that the comet visits the girl's home, one, home planet once every 100 years, its proud white tail glittering in the sky. the end all right so there's closure on that that's all my story is finished oh well that was just wondrous you said this was Luigi galaxy Galaxy. Yeah, but we had some stuff to clear up. The existence of baby Rosalina kind of ruins this story, doesn't it? <laughs> nah, it's just a time warp. Hello, alt integer. And, uh, GLMD. Okay, let's start for real. Luigi. Luigi. So, same thing, but you are Luigi. And you don't do the interest stage. How Luigi got here, we don't get to know. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. The so Luigi is faster and jumps higher, but he's also slipperier. But you knew that. You knew that. Let's play hide and seek. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, most of it 
is the same. So I'll probably, probably, probably be skipping over, like, redundant dialogue and stuff. And not really paying attention. Oh, that's kind of loud. Ain't it? I uh, love, love sound balancing. Check, check. Yeah, I may, I may have to adjust it over the course of the stream. Okay, where's the crater? There it is. All right, so check, checking. Hidden in the grass. Where's the grass? Where is it? Grass is a myth. Where is it? Can I have grass, please? Is this it? No? Oh, it's right here. Alright, check. Checking. Volume balance. Check. Checking. I might put it down half, half a decibel. And, and call it. I mean, I can change it in post if I have to, but I'd, I'd prefer to get it right the first time, as I always say. Oh, didn't mean to fire a star bit. Yeah, this part we can't exactly skip. I mean, we already know. We already know what happens with all this. I mean, at least I would assume we do. Like, like I've said, I've, I've streamed the Mario part. Mario part E. Yes, I know, I know. You know, they really should disable the tutorials on the Luigi playthrough because, I mean, if you- if you've unlocked Luigi, you- you have to know, right? You have to know these things in order to have gotten here. I mean, they bothered to completely cut out the intro. Yeah, so Luigi's gonna be more acrobatic. And I mean, we might be able to do things faster than we did before. You got one additional Luigi. And frankly, you want all of those that you can get. Wait, what's my, uh... Oh yeah, I still got it on max volume. Oh, they got a key, that's right. Who had the key? Oh, wait, I didn't kill this guy. Are there more? Yep, there's more. Oh, it's the Goomba with the standard design.
We. Oh, there's Big Goomber. <laughs> Can you stomp this guy? Or do you, you specifically have to kick him? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could have tried to get enough air to stomp him. Let me in. Let me go. Let me go into the core, the planet core. Yes, I know. I was, I was doing that. I was working on it. Ow. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, Luigi. I didn't mean to tase you. Wouldn't it be funny if I, like, referenced an old meme about that? Yeah, that would be, that would be a hoot right now, wouldn't it? Okay, first level as Luigi. It's it's the same stuff, but now you're Luigi. I mean, I was I was glad to finally have a Mario game where I could play as Luigi. Though admittedly having me play the the whole game again as Luigi, uh, I I don't know about that. <laughs> Which is pro why it's probably a good thing that Mario Galaxy 2 does not do this. Spoilers, I guess. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 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 So like I said, I'm gonna kind of try beelining past most of the optional stuff. I, well, I mean, I'm gonna do all the missions, but you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna talk to NPCs or anything like that. I mean, I'll keep- I'll keep an eye out for stuff unique to Luigi, but... Please. Cutscene is unskippable, as far as I can tell. I'm having trouble recalling if there's really anything Luigi exclusive. I mean, I know there's some dialogue that's different. I, I won't say anything more if, if anybody doesn't know. But... There is dialogue that Luigi exclusively gets. The levels, though, I believe are all the same. Keep shooting these and I don't mean to yes I listen if I have unlocked if I have unlocked Luigi that means that I have 100 percented Mario so you really you don't have to explain this to me again you really don't
All right. All right. Back to the back to the old grind. I don't know if I did that as Mario, but you can sure do it as Luigi. freestyle beats. Okay, I thought maybe that had something to do with the mission, but no, it didn't. We... So yeah, like I said, I'll probably, like, be a lot more direct in this playthrough. I, I don't I don't got all day I don't got the rest of my life to spend freaking doing every optional thing again as Luigi we got we got things to do we got places to be and Lumas have things and places to be I don't know if I really <laughs> If that joke really landed, but it was, you know, I, I assume you get what I'm talking about. So how do you guys think the volume balance is right now? I'm getting, I'm getting paranoid. Please reaffirm me. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. We No, don't die, Luigi. Yeah, camera. Sphere camera. I think it's fine. Okay. Oh, no, Luigi, please. Watch out for the microchip, Luigi. I keep hitting the B button and firing star bits. And I really, I do not mean to do that. I don't know if you realized. Ooh, okay. So I gotta figure out all sorts of wacky jumps I can do as Luigi. Because Luigi is more jumpable than ever before. This boss should be considerably easier as Luigi. Because, you know, Mario, you really gotta chase after him. But Luigi's just like, Hey, I'm a face this fuck, boy. Look at this. He never stood a chance. This isn't one of those games where I can, uh, where I can rotate my cursor. I don't know why so many Wii games let you do that. Like, you could turn the Wii remote upside down.
All right, going back in. A snack of cosmic proportions. All right, give me some of those. I mean, I'm trying to be more direct here, but I also still got to get star bits and stuff. Okay, now can I, uh... Hmm. I was trying to see if Luigi could get up there without having to do the whole shebang, but... I don't think that is necessarily possible. <laughs> Luigi's good at jumping, but I don't know if he's that good. Oh wait, crap, I do need to be collecting star bits, because that's the whole mission. That's the whole mission right now, is have star bits. I'm too direct. I always told people I just- I had no filter, but I- I realize now that I'm just a jerk. So he, he slips and slides all over the place. Luigi coats his shoes in butter every morning. To to what end? I have not the foggiest. But you know, whatever does it for him. Ow. Oh, crap. I want to, I want to get, I want to get. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm going to get all right. I'm going to get a spot in the morgue. Luigi, please hit the block. Okay, I need to stomp this guy for coin. If only to stop the infernal beeping that has now overtaken my life. How many does he want? Oh, 100. I don't feel like it's... It, it's not playing the sound. Is my Wii remote bloken? Ow! Dang it, Ouija! Ouija! Yeah, platforming. Okay, now time to enter the capsule. So, I just feel like saying now that 
been playing a lot of the new Curb game. Though I have forgotten what it is called. Pretty good, though. Still gotta do the post-game stuff. But I've been enjoying it. Where... Where is the entrance? Oh, it's over here. Okay, time to cut the knot. Luigi has no time for this... these silly diversions. Luigi is a very busy man. I don't know if the microphone is picking up the Wii remote noises anymore. I have it on high volume, but I mean, <laughs> it's possible that my analog stick clicking dampening system is perhaps making that improbable. Can you just long jump to the middle? Oh yeah, I probably can, honestly. See, that's the thing. That's the thing I gotta be thinking about. The game's designed around Mario, so I gotta think, how can Luigi cut the knot? Luigi works smarter, not harder. Okay, yes, tutorializing. Okay, that was a short one. But we're not going there yet. God, I I really procrast procrastinated like 800 years before coming back to this. I did not mean to do that. But you should also not be surprised at this point. This game got banished to side game hell. Otherwise known as games I'm that I say I'm going to play and then don't. <laughs> Okay, rescue the toad. Don't talk to the toad. I don't- I don't speak to toads. I'm sorry, I realize that's not politically correct of me, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh. Uh, Luigi gets embedded in the sand, and that presents a problem. Oh. His low traction also presents a problem. And that is precisely doing anything. Luigi does not possess the capability to do this. That's the thing, like, Ma Mario is a precision instrument. And he is capable of doing many things very precisely. Luigi is more like a shotgun. Luigi just goes everywhere. Feel free to interpret that exactly as sexually as you want to. Oh, oh <laughs> what was that? Luigi got stuck in the crevasse. Okay, I wonder. 
I really wonder... <laughs> why did Luigi flop like a fish? I'm trying to do a wacky... Well, you can just do that, I guess. Again, just cut the knot. Cut the fat. Oh god, I really want to try to see if I can long jump over there. Without actually having to kill the... The octo squids. The squidopus. Well, not like that, I can't. <laughs> Okay, no, there is an invisible wall. Nintendo slapped the sign down that said no fun allowed. I forgot, was there anything on that? I think... Dang it, Dustin, stop pressing the B button. Well, they're not gonna let me look. Shake the thing. Shake it. But don't shake it too much. At least not in public. Yeah, this stream has been exceptionally dirty so far, and I don't I don't know what it is about Luigi that makes me do that. Wait, hang on. I wanna see Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. A certain me verse pose comes to mind. You're right, I didn't even I didn't even intend for that. But it is true. Even as a straight male, Luigi just has a quality to him. What can one even say? This arena has always been really gross looking. Just gonna flash red a little bit. Okay, admittedly... The rate at which I am collecting stars is not as high as I would have hoped. Okay, so we did everything there. Now on to Honey Hive. Appreciate how every mission that had Mario in the name now says Luigi. I mean, you're right. And when you're right, Langton, you're not wrong. Okay, I, I still don't know how to do the go up backwards glitch. Yeah, I, I still have no idea about that. Ignore all optional content. Mario meets Mario becomes Luigi meets Mario. 
What are you talking about? That's that's hilarious. I got grabbed by the the ghoulies. Are there dialogue noises just saying BB? Because that would be quite interesting. Ow. Thank you for that. Yes, welcome to buzzing hell, both because we're a bee and because we're low on health. It's a blast, no joke. It's a blast from the past. No, 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 Luigi. Okay, we're 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 good. And now speaking of sexual. they put her in Mario Kart 7? That was kind of weird. I mean, it beats pink gold peach, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, they, <laughs> you saw there, they said, they said something about, like, we, it, there's some kind of weird continuity with that message, but I wasn't really paying attention. See, so you have two distinct characters. You have Luigi, and then you have Luigi with Luigi's head next to his name. Luigi with emoji. Forget if they have anything important to say at all. Probably not. Okay, I can absolutely do that jump as Luigi. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, yes, the most tedious star bits possible. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he did that Mario 64 thing where it's just like, nope. <laughs> no. refuses to talk to the sign. All right, the cat in the hat planet. I still gotta get- I still gotta get some star bits. As much as we want to pretend like I don't. Wait, Wiggler. Kill Wiggler! Go over that way. <laughs> Land on the platform. Board the platforms! Wait, what's the deal with this again? Oh, it's it's the windmill. Can I cut can I cut the windmill knot? Can I land can I land on some probably not. Probably not cut the knot. Alright, Bugaleg has been killed. He's been murdered once again. Uh oh, 360! Finally, Halo! Hmm, <laughs> pardon me again. Big bad Bugabalibalum. Oh, that's right. There's trouble in the wacky world of Nintendo. Oh, well, I missed him. We don't have time to go back. I think the camera had a, had a little bit of an episode for a second there. You can pro- oh, there's a pipe down there, so if you are an idiot, like I was considering being, you, you can still get back up. 
Honestly, I don't know. I think Luigi might be the aggressor in this situation. We probably don't need a cutscene for every point of damage the boss takes. Oh no. Poop bomb. Bombs, you want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough laxatives. Yes, I, I know how hungry Lumas work. Don't don't talk to me about it. Okay, good. Alright, flip switch. We gotta flip. We bought a switch, but we wanna get the OLED, so we're gonna flip it. Honestly, I, I wish I could justify getting one of those, but it's just, I don't know, it's not enough of an improvement. Ow. No. No, I need you to be pressed. Apparently, if you crawl into electric fences, they don't hurt you. Yeah, uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but then again, I, this, is this really crawling? Ah, uh, pixel art in the background. I found this, uh, this Twitter account. Where th that's dedicated to, like, Mario 1 sprites in games that are not Mario 1. And rating them on their accuracy, but I forgot what it's called. It might be called Classic Mario in modern games. Yeah, it was just Mar <laughs> it's just Mario. Luigi is not made of rubber, so therefore <laughs> therefore Luigi gets shocked. How did that happen? Oh yo ho ho we took a bite of gum gum. Weird how that only happens with Mario for some reason. It reminds me of, uh... Of how in Sonic 2... Yes, Sonic crouches... During the chemical plant boss. He is, uh, he won't take damage. It won't hit him. 
but that doesn't work for Tails. And... And I read why that was. Like, it has something to do with the hitbox. Like, I mean, obviously, but yeah, it has something to do with the fact that Sonic's hitbox shrinks when he crouches, but Tails doesn't. And for some reason, the hitbox that determines when the, like, like when the projectile or the goop should disappear is decided like it's longer than it should be or taller. So basically it hits the ground or it's registered as hitting the ground before it hits Sonic. But Sonic only just barely avoids it. And since Tails hitbox doesn't shrink, he, he still gets hit. And it's the weirdest, it's the weirdest combination of things possible. Does that count my Mario time, or is this a Luigi-specific high score? Because I have no clue at all. I don't know, man. I, I love... <laughs> I love hearing about really weird programming in games. I mean, you just, you tend to assume that they have, they have all this stuff under control, but then you're like, Oh, if Mario, if Mario long jumps backwards, <laughs> I read that as Mega Leg's mom, <laughs> but if Mario long jumps backwards and he's on a, like a slope that's steep enough, he will just, <laughs> he will accumulate speed infinitely. Because it, the game only caps his speed if he's going forward. It's like, okay. Like, sure, if, if you insist. <laughs> Mom with even bigger legs. Mega Legs Mom has got it going on. Oh, here's the insufferable little fool. I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Now here, here's a robot. <laughs> I'm going to fly away now. I mean, come on, even- even Dr. Robotnik stays around the robot. <laughs> Gotta love how they interact with the curved surface. Like, yeah, that's- that's fun. Ow. I don't know why I thought that would work. Honestly, maybe if I backflip... Oh god, oh god. Well, I mean, it still worked. Ha <laughs> ha, I have a hop defense! Can he get it over the fence? Uh, probably- oh no, I'm- Please God help me. 
Is there a coin anywhere? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't think so. Yeah, just hit the eye. Hit the eye. The answer is, in theory, probably. In practice, I'm bad at video games. Did one of the bullet bills just, just destroy the other cannon temporarily? Okay, the answer is yes, he can. It's just, <laughs> I made it way more butt-clinching than I really needed to. You know, I never really paid attention, but Mario and Luigi kind of got no butt. Very minimal butt. Not caked up. Well, okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm selling them a little short, but like, it's not, it's not very impressive. Come on, guys, you're plumbers. You gotta have the cheeks. You gotta have the cheeks to hang out while you're working on the sink. Yes, I apologize for all of what I have just said. But I also do not take it back. Ah, the bacon. I like the bacon. I've only eaten the mushrooms for the past 20 years. Oh, wait, there was the male toad. Oh, he's, up, he's down here. <laughs> Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place. But I'm alright, because you're coming to rescue me. Huh? It's addressed to Mario. Don't be upset, Luigi. Hang in there. And you get freaking 21 ups, because lives mean nothing. <laughs> Even though these are, <laughs> these are supposed to be for Mario. Luigi's just, like, rooting through Mario's mail <laughs> and stealing presents that the princess sends him. Luigi! Have you seen that Mushroom of the Month Club? Package that I'm supposed to be getting. I, they haven't delivered one for, like, three months. I'm thinking about writing a strongly worded letter. Uh, no, Mario, I haven't, I, I haven't seen anything. Luigi, what's that all over your mouth? I mean, maybe Luigi is the breadwinner, because you think about it, he's got, like, a ghost hunting business, and he can afford to take them to, like, expensive hotels that are definitely not haunted. 
And it's like, what does Mario do? Mario doesn't have a job. When have you ever seen him plumb anything? I'm glad that Polterpup is not offended at Luigi's mass genocide of his people. But then again, he's a dog, so... I mean, I don't know, if I... You could probably, like, get a pig, kill it in front of the other pig, and then the, the pig just would not care. It would, it would just carry on. It would just carry on like nothing happened. Animals just kind of be like that. Luigi has to rely on gambling for income. Well, see, the thing is, Luigi's the house, right? Luigi, like, works at the casino, and, you know, as we know, as we've established, the house always wins. So not only... Does Luigi have a job? He has- he has multiple jobs, and they probably pay... Well, okay, I don't know about ghost hunting, because... Well, I mean, then again, in the Mushroom Kingdom... Ghosts are kind of everywhere. You know, it's not like, oh, ghosts don't- it's not like a Ghostbusters situation where it's like, oh, ghosts don't exist. You're crazy, it's like... Ghosts- you- you can't go through any alley... ...without running into at least five ghosts. Oh, I gotta... I gotta hold it upright. That's what we call the basic position. Assume the position, Luigi. Super Mario Ball. Okay, gotta get- gotta get some more star bits. <laughs> because I only just barely had enough for that last, uh, Hungry Luma. I wonder what this would be like without holding the controller backward, just forward. Uh, that- I think that would just be a speed run. Oh, oh. Uh. I don't like doing this. I don't want to be greedy at this part. Okay. And this has been Mario Golf. <laughs> Driving and I'm speeding and... Also, completely unrelated to just about everything except the throwaway comment in the previous tangent. But, uh, shoutouts to Luigi's Mansion for keeping EGAD in this series. I love how you could technically fall off if you didn't get that star somehow. I mean, in fairness, if you fall- if you fall off there, that's kind of your fault. You kind of deserve it. God, this level just has such a crazy good atmosphere. It's like the beauty of space. The beauty in the one door. <laughs> I'm trying to do like a funny triple jump. But I cannot.
Ah, uh, finally, the Tetris block. It's like Amp without a face. Amp got decanonized. All right, just gonna pay Olimar a quick visit. See, this is not accurate because Olimar is like the size of like a quarter. So make the, so Olimar just kind of flies around in one of those toy rocket ships like you'd get in a McDonald's Happy Meal. Uh, cookie Planet. Ah, uh, Spider Planet. I mean, can you- I don't think you can really even call this a planet. This is just a structure of some kind. Ow. The superstructure. Uh, th thanks, Luigi. Thanks, Luigi. I guess I gotta free the toads. I was hoping that I would not have to. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Good thing they have the technology to generate their own field of gravity somehow. I'm glad the Mushroom Kingdom has that sort of technology. Why'd I do that? I thought, I thought, you know, there's a platform over there. I'm gonna hot dog it. I'm gonna be slick. And yeah, Luigi's slick, alright. I mean, I know there's one to the right, but now I'm scared to try. Oh dear, oh dear, okay. Okay, I'm fine. Once again, I cannot believe they ripped off Last Impact so blatantly. No, 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 no. No shame at Nintendo, no shame at all. Oh, Comet. Comet time. You know, the camera pans over when she says, talk to the Luma who knows about such things. But, but that's just, that's for our benefit. As far as Luigi knows, she just, like, she, <laughs> Luigi's just gotta figure out which one knows about it. I'm already in a speedrun, boy. I've been speedrunning for 300 years. You think you're, you're gonna come into Luigi's house and tell him to speed run? Okay, that's not a good start to a speed run right there. Uh, 
Ow. L Luigi has been the victim of a hit and run today. Oh, what? What? Why are you doing this? Oh god, this is the worst speed run on the entire Twitch website. I think there was definitely some miss potential to make the Luigi story more interesting. Yeah, uh, like I said, I'm kind of glad they didn't bring this back for Galaxy 2. They just let you switch to him. Because as it stands, it's just kind of... Hey, play the game again, idiot. <laughs> but, you know, the Luigi playthrough is just going to be a now and then kind of thing. Which means it's gonna take like eight years for me to actually complete. Uh, hopefully not, because I would like to actually play other Mario games. But it, it would be weird to say move on to Galaxy 2 while I'm still playing Galaxy 1. That's just uncouth. You can't do that. Couple star bits on the way over. I'm surprised the draw distance on that launch star in the background is as high as it is. I should probably play Super Mario Galaxy again in the future. I mean, it's a great game. Even if I feel like, you know, the whole Luigi thing's a little stupid. Oh no, wait, that, that was it. I remember now. I mean, I could probably get away with playing new Super Mario Brothers before I'm done with this game. I don't think that would be too weird, but... You know, I mean, I have other Mario-type things I can do, I guess. Like, people, people have been, you know, very subtly hinting that they either want to see a Mario fan game or Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island I could definitely get, a, get away with doing before this game is over. It's really, it's really just the main series that I, I don't want to advance on until I'm done with this. I mean, what am I saying? Like, New Super Mario Brothers isn't the main series? I don't know. I don't know. There's so many different Mario games. So many branches. So many branches on this Mario tree. Yeah, see, just have it do that. Just have it explode. Can I do this? Yes, I can. And it's not even particularly hard. Okay, just grab a couple, grab a couple of those. Yeah. 
<laughs> I did not mean to do that. But whatever. Ding dong, the witch is dead. I'm going to leave the toads frozen in carbonite if you don't mind. gotta go in here. Very important that I go in here. Okay, and we, we have learned. They they put an invisible wall there or something. Don't don't do that. Don't try to don't try to cut the knot. Because these guys have an invisible knot right above it. I almost fell off. Bring <laughs> brings new meaning to L plus you fell off. L so big, Luigi had to come out of the L door. Very zany music. You got this, you know, orchestral soundtrack, but then you also got this, this freaking... <laughs> freaking, like... I don't even know what to call this. Just circus music. Mario circus music. Ouchie, ouchie, zooey mama. Oh. How y'all MFers look when you're swinging your wa your wand around. Yep, yep, stuttered. Joke ruined. There's a there's a comet, but I kind of don't want to run all the way over there right now. So I won't. Tarantino's Tangled Web. Oh, hey, it's the glitch. It's the glitch zone. <laughs> Hang on, I got a glitch. It's very important that I glitch again. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I'm in the ship. Once you once you are in the ship, you cannot you cannot leave. Don't forget you're here forever. You know, just just a brief refresher course, you know. No, nope, not talking to Toad. Not talking to Cat and Todd. Oh my god, Lois, this reminds me of the Super Mario Galaxy streams from 2021.
Reminds me of the time I coated my shoes in butter. <laughs> my con my connection started having issues the, the, as soon as Dustin got inside one of the ships. Yeah, I'm sorry. the The reception's not very good in there. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> makes a very it, it makes a very silly noise. Is all that's all I'm trying to say here. Oh, okay. That was like a Mario 64 glitch that just happened to me. Did you did you guys see that? I have imported a glitch from a from a different game. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I brought this up like on Discord. But like somebody, uh, I think it was Sky TH, ported Mario 64 to Sonic Generations, which is kind of insane. It's just like, yeah, you can just play this platformer inside of this other platformer. I'm back now, what did I miss? Uh, you missed me doing the Super Mario 64 grinding glitch in this game. Cruise boosting to Mario Galaxy. Uh, first, let's focus on adding it to uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. One day I'll probably need to, like, replay Battle for Bikini Bottom, but randomized or something. Which will make, like, three different times on stream that I've played that game. But who cares? I will do it. Honestly, if I if I ever revisit some of these games that I've already streamed, it probably will be like in randomized form. Because dang it, it's just so cool. I've thought about doing it for Link to the Past because I'm I don't know, like Link to the Past I really did not give a good showing. one of my old shames, as it were. tvtropes.org slash main slash old shame. And then you lose the save file again. I, I would be impressed if I managed to lose it with, with all the stuff I have now. Like, I have a Retroad, I have an Everdrive. That would le be legitimately impressive. Oh wait, crap. I don't want to go that way in this in this mission. But yeah, something like, uh, you know, the Luigi playthrough is every mission is a Comet mission. That would have been interesting. That being said, I'm sure Nintendo just wanted to do something like quick and dirty. 
Especially, especially given the fact that most of the, most of the game, like, like it doesn't replace, well, hang on, I, I should probably stop talking because I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything. I mean, I think we all know everyone in chat, but I, I like to account for the hypothetical person. <laughs> Ow. Like, who knows? What if I eventually get 200 subscriber? Or, I mean, not subscriber. Follower. Oh, also, reminder, just in case anybody needed to know that, like, uh, I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know if it happens with regular subs, but prime subs, I think, have to be manually renewed. If so, if you, like, lose access to the emotes or anything, and you want them back, you, you might have to, like, go in and do that. Yes, I, I realize I'm being, like, really <laughs> weirdly stingy about spoilers for a game where not even the developers really cared. But that's just who I am, baby. That's the... <laughs> that is the, the brain I was given. By God. I want- I want to do things organically, you know? Alright, now that- that's been, uh, do the mission, again. Except we- we breathe down your neck while you do it. That's the only difference. Okay, we still have, uh, the secret star. You can subscribe for $4.99 to get six emotes. Yeah. Or you can subscribe for $25 to get a whopping six emotes. Uh, yeah, I, I probably do need to add a couple more. I don't know. I'm not, like... You know, I'm not, like, super into the whole thing. I mean, I like having money, but... Okay, there's... There's the loomer over there. I forgot how much I need it. Well, probably more than this. I'll tell you that much. Okay, 50. Tightening the notches on my belt. Yeah. Okay, just gotta scrounge up some change. Gotta look through the couch cushions. Metaphorically, of course. No, I'm sure Luigi wouldn't mind a couch right now. I think your Twitch viewer count is broken. It's been at zero for a while. Yeah, that's a that's a little peculiar. Hmm. I don't know, I think it's just broken, uh, on their end. Alright, we got- no, no wait, wait, I got 49, where's- <laughs> I thought I got 50. Man, these stingy Lumas, I'm like one star bit short and they're like, no, that's not good enough, pal.
Oh my god. Don't- don't tell me that I legitimately... <laughs> ...have no more star bits left to get. Please tell me there's one. There's one star bit. Oh my, my word. Oh my lord. Look at that gourd. Well, back to the old grind. Okay, now I will make sure to get every star bit possible. Where... where is anything right now? Okay. Tried to spin, but I did not win. No, no, I thought the gravity had me. Okay, now let me go into the dome. Get those freaking star bits. Kinda hard to see that Goomba coming sometimes, but it... Yeah, I know. I know about the- I know about the feed... The feederism. You gotta- oh, you gotta be in eat mode. Or else it doesn't count, apparently. Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi's not in this game in the flesh, but apparently he's in it as a wooden sculpture of some kind. That Goomba was not having a good time. Oh yeah, pro gamer. Okay, N not not super pro gamer. Okay, where's the one I missed? Oh, there it is. Did you know the Goombas are apparently supposed to be chestnuts? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's up with that. Yes, the battle rock and ball torture.
And it's gonna be a barrage, let me tell you. Oh god, I just realized that this means I'm gonna have to do the freaking garbage mission again. I wonder, can I make it up to that? Can I make it up to that launch star? Without actually getting any of the stuff. Mm, I don't know, it seems pretty high. I would have to be pretty high in order to think I could do it. Ah, oh, got it. It it feels so close though, doesn't it? Oh, it feels it feels possible. But it's just I think it's just barely not Whoa. Oh, I didn't I didn't want to do <laughs> Luigi. Luigi, please. Oh, I thought it was in there. But no, it's like over here, I think. Okay, there, I did your silly collect- I did your silly collector thingy. harsh but very satisfying sound effect honestly and now for an auto scroller or whatever whatever this is now would be a good time for some donations yeah Why am I doing this? I, I thought for sure that I had that coin. Oh my word. I don't think I've made a noise like that since Metroid Dread. <laughs> Pressing the B button. Uh, if only I was Mario and could crouch right now. Like, this game does a pretty good job of, like, figuring out the whole analog thing. But sometimes it just gets real confused. In the E3 2006 version, you had to hold the B button to pick up <laughs> star bits. That's weird. 
Bullet Bill, come back, please. I'm sorry about what I said. Come on, come on. Please don't hit the Goomba. Well, okay, if, if you hit the Goomba at the same time, like that, that is acceptable. And I, I think the Goomba is just evaporated by that. Goombaint. Alright, so I'll go for one more star. <gasps> Satan! I'll go for one more star. And we'll we'll probably be around or over the two hour mark and we're we'll have twenty stars, so I think that's a good You know what, let's let's just do this. Ah, uh, hurry scurry. For Bill Murray. Whose role as whose role as Garfield is not being reprised? No, let's just put Chris Pratt in everything. It's like, oh, we're making a we're making a Popeye movie. Who do we get to be Popeye? Uh, Chris Pratt, and he's just like, ah, gog, 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 gog. I am what I am, and that is all that I am. Okay, now we gotta we gotta get rid of the rest of the panels. Very important. And then they're like, wow, you got rid of all the panels. You unlocked Wario. Well, okay, actually that didn't take as long as I thought it would. So I'll do I'll do one more in Battle Rock and we will leave on the very unsatisfying number of twenty-one. What day one? Breaking Bad. You see, that was that was a comedy reference I just made. So now I'm gonna need you. I'm going to need you to chuckle. I need you to chortle at the Joker's boner.
Approaching sound barrier. But I still need another one. to that. Hmm, probably not. Alright, this, this part. I love this part. Alright, what you need to do here... Well, well, not that. You need to do, like, this, and then that. And then some of these. And a little bit of this. Oh yes, I'm so good. It's kind of unfathomable. Oh, it's the funny number. Oh, never mind. Number no longer funny. There's nothing funny about 78. And then there's then there's gonna be some meme about the number 78 and people in the year 2030 they're gonna see this and they're gonna be like whoa they predicted it he said among us love uh, T posing Luma in the carbonite must make note of this. Yeah, that is, that is my insanely... Oh, wow. One cycle. But I still have to actually get into the star. But yeah, that's my incredibly specific prediction, is that exact number will become a meme. I mean, look. 16, we got 69, we got 420, and we have... 21. So, I mean, it's not impossible. That's a good screenshot of Luigi. I was wondering if there was any consequence, like, to failing that. Like, if you if you hit one of the barriers, does Luigi just fall back down to the planet, or does he get sucked into a black hole and it's just like, No, that's it. Goodbye. I'm sorry, you lost one of your 800 lives. How will you survive now? Anyway, that, that'll that probably be about it. Let me take a bath. Uh, thanks for showing up, you guys. Next time, I'll probably do Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure 2. Get, like, two side things out of the way. Because I'm really bad about getting around to these. So. And then we'll probably, you know, return to Metroid Prime and... God, what was the other thing I was... But Metopia. <laughs> Alright, see ya.